it's mid-May, we're at Trafalgar, lovely weather, that um, winter storm came through last night, the sea's a little bit up unfortunately, we're going to try for stone bream, bronze bream, uh, you know, it's just that time of the year where there's not really a lot of fish around, so it's going to be more scratching than anything else, and hopefully even Andre will catch a fish, if he does, good for him. Enjoy! Thompson and Ryan and Alan is on his way there and Tyron is here and we're gonna do uh, some scratching looking for some edible fish in between the rocks here the Trafalgar we're south of the pool one of these spots is called Chalk Tooth um, so we close there and then we're gonna work our way all the way south further south as the tide pushes us dead low at 8.30 about in 20 minutes or so and then with a the pushing tide we're hoping some fish will come in and we're fishing the lighter tackle I'm actually going to start it with a 12 foot 6 uh, saltist, the power slim rod with a 5000 saltist a reel 30 pound and then one small hook and one slightly bigger hook, two hooks and I'm going to go to the back there to fish in the deeper water looking for a possible bronze bream or maybe something else that lures in the back there uh, on the bottom hook and uh, I'm not sure what the other guys are going to do but they'll tell you the objective is to get some uh, some baby teeth onto the hook and onto the board this morning very nice way of fishing I think uh, in general for anglers this is one of the more enjoyable types of fishing is looking for all those different species and edible spe fish um, in my opinion and more of a challenge to catch edible species understand your water the structure and the formation and finding them then sometimes looking for flatfish or sharks um, in general and uh, it takes a lot of skill but also very accessible to any angler beginner anglers to get the smaller fish fishing in your white waters close to the rocks with a light rod you stand a better chance of hooking and landing a fish and still for the enjoyment of fishing, what it's all about. What I'm using for my live tackle is my 8 pound braid, an old crossfire 7 foot with my crossfire or should I say my Laguna Procaster reel. What I'm going to be doing is starting off first of all looking for smaller fish. And as the tide goes on, I'm going to be targeting the bigger fish. So I'm going to start looking for bro uh, stone bream in there. And then as we go on, look for the bronze bream. And then later on, maybe even a cob or a small little brusher. Or a rock cod even. So, very simple. Tied my traces before I came. I've got a mustard hook. I just want to show you that little hook. It's a long shank hook. Mustard uh, long shank. It takes the prawn almost perfectly if you cut little cutlets and I'll show you how to put that on later on. I'm just going to attach it to my trace and it's very simple. There's my swivel. This is 5.5 kilo maxima that I'm using. Just a drop and knot a small hook and of course a little three quarter or one ounce bell sinker there we go a little one ounce teardrop or bell sinker the southwesterly is now starting to pick up the forecast is for rain later on this afternoon so we're trying to make the best of it that's why we're rushing like we are get a bait in the water before the bad weather actually gets to us. Find a little pink prawn. Being the first prawn of the day, they're frozen solid. So I'm just going to open it up a bit. Take my 
mallet, uh, chuck a mallet and just soften the bait up a little bit more. Wrap it around. My latex cotton. Make sure your hook is still proud. And that's basically the bait I'm going to be throwing the first couple of throws. I'm literally going to walk down here and just have a throw yeah, anyway. See if there's any fish around. Oh, there's a little rock. Like there's a nice little rock over there. A nice little rock over there. The one on the left hand side seems to be a little bit better for me. So I'm just going to go, because the wind is blowing southwestly, I'm just going to go up front of it go to it and just walk back down and just see if there's a stone beam there. You can see there's a bit of a bow forming in my braid at the moment. What a stone beam likes to do is they sit out far. When the surge starts coming in, there we are getting a bite. When the surge starts coming in, the stone beam come in with it. There's a little fish playing around as you can see. So as the surge and the wave comes in, the bronze beam comes down the wave. There's a lovely wave coming down and there we go. That is basically what we're looking for. A lovely wave like that. It feels more like Toby's biting at the moment. As the surge starts sucking back, you just take a couple of steps forward. Let your bow go a little bit more slack. When the tide comes in again, you can see how it's pulling as the surge goes backwards. There comes a wave now. There comes a wave. Let's just have a look see. As the wave starts coming in, we just walk back again. Small fish. Those are small fish. And there's a lot of small blacktail around or tobies. They clean me up quite quickly. I'm gonna go back, put a harder bait on. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper as well. Let's see if those bigger fish aren't deeper in the water. Just loading my box with bait. Hey guys, the top bait, the white prawn from Adcan Marine, those yellow boxes with the white prawn. There's pink, there's white, there's red. Let's always look. The white prawn is lovely for scratching and for smaller fish. Now yeah, I'll do a combination. I'll put a white prawn now and then and then I'll go back to a pink prawn. We even brought some langoustines. Even the head-on prawns which we get from Adcan Marine is probably the one I use most of the time. Fishing for bronze bream and stuff. Yo, this wind started very early already. Feel it. I'm going to leave the first bait rather small so the fish, whatever it grabs, it can swallow it nicely. Um, with all these fish, the finicky fish, like bronze bream, like stone bream, I won't put the density of cotton too much at the bottom of the hook but rather at the top to hold it. At the bottom, you leave it nice. and uh, fluffy if you can call it that. As for scratching, you can now just hook this. This is a little 3040 uh, ring soy and that's just for movement in the water and then just using the scissors you can, if you're going to hook it like this, just lengthen your tentacles by cutting it. So this thing cut through 100%. Just cut them nice. All the way, make sure there's enough movement in it. And this is for any any of your predatory fish, slightly bigger, like a cobby or a kingy swimming past. This just moves around and creates movement in the water. Otherwise, you can just tie it nicely to your hook and put a prawn on there if you want. Let's use this as an example. I'll do the first bait like that so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I've got those three tentacles. And you can just tie it nice and tight to the shank of your hook. 
Just put prawn meat on that as well, or a bit of sardine, or what. If you don't want to fish it just like this, but on its own, very effective little bait. There we go. Ah, he's on my spot. <laughs> That's in there. You get quite a few of them. This is eh, it's not too small, it's not too big, it's a reasonably nice little fish. And yeah, it gave me a good tussle on the eight pound outfit. There it is. And there we go guys. That's what we came to catch. One of these gorgeous little fish. <laughs> On light tackle, as you can see, nothing better than that. A nice little copper bream, small one. But nothing wrong, that's why we're here. Nice fish, I had to put this way in the back. And from there, the 12 foot 6 just just gives you those options to get to the, the spots that's a bit further. I saw them jumping in the back there. There you have it. Nice little copper brick. Just to run you through again. Yeah, I've got a little mustard carb hook. On the bottom, the ring soy. This is for a rock hard or a cob. Or maybe a tussle fish that's swimming in the area. And the top one is for any of the bream. The villa pack. Stone bream, bronze bream, copper bream, whatever is in the area. And these are those little small floats from my stand. You get them in packets that I put on the top if I want to fish a bit more finesse. And I've got a quarter anti tangle on the top there and the combi swimmel, power swivels. Nothing wrong. Bit 
of variety there. I just missed a lovely fish as well before this. and look for some fish. Ray said he's seen a couple of nice big bronze bream and other bream here. So we're going to try and get some of them on the hook. So join us next time. Okay, let's try again. Take two. 